So this, my friends, is the brand new Mac Mini with the M4 chip, and arguably it's the cheapest way to get into Apple computers with the Apple Silicon chip. Or is it? This, my friends, is the iMac with the M4 chip. And arguably, in my opinion, this might actually be the best computer for most people watching this video to buy. But it's not that simple. Make sure you guys watch this video till the end because I'm gonna walk through a whole bunch of things and things that you should probably consider. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly which one you should buy. Also, by the way, if you guys are on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, Follow me on there. And here's a picture of a squirrel for your reward. Now, let me do a quick recap here. Now, the iMac comes with the same 24 inch 4.5K Retina display. And don't get me wrong, even though the display hasn't changed from the previous generation, fantastic display. And I think it's one of the best displays you can get with a computer. Now, you also have a nano texture option, which is what I personally have here. Now, the cool part is out of the box, you do get a keyboard and a mouse. Everything comes inside the box. It's good to go, basically, the way you buy it. And my favorite part about the IMAX is you get a whole plethora of colors to choose from. The one that I have here is the yellow slash looks gold. Now, let's quickly talk about the Mac mini. Now, in terms of actual like overall package, yes, you do get more with the iMac, but with the Mac mini, you do actually get a lot more computer. But on top of that, you do get a lot more in terms of ports. Now, look, the running joke, obviously, with the Mac mini is the power button. What are those? The power button being on the bottom, it's not a big deal, okay? I'm gonna be straight up here. Yes, it would have been nice to have it on the side maybe, so it's still hidden from the front, but having it on the bottom is not a big deal. Anybody who owns a Mac knows, we don't turn those things off. Also, I don't know, I have this conspiracy theory that Apple actually does these things on purpose. Like little things, like putting the USB-C charging port, putting it on the bottom, like this is how you use a mouse. I feel like they do these things on purpose so that people start talking about it. That's my, that's my conspiracy theory. Now let's actually get to the exciting part, the comparison. So first up, size and weight. Obviously, this thing is going to take the cake here, right? This thing is so darn nice. Like, the way that they made this even smaller, I was legit shocked when I unboxed this thing. Like, you can literally throw this thing around and, like, not worry about it. It can go anywhere, right? I mean, technically, you could throw the iMac around too, can you? Yeah, probably don't recommend trying that at home. Now look, the Mac mini, you can literally put this anywhere. So even if you have like a really small desk, or let's say like you're like Harry Potter and you live under the stairs, this would fit like in a setup over there. And albeit, actually look cute while doing so. But my favorite part about the Mac mini is you can actually technically travel with this thing, right? Traveling with a desktop computer, like spec it out to be very powerful and whatnot. And anywhere you go, like hotel rooms and stuff, just have a portable monitor with you. Or you could watch some of my older videos, which I will probably make newer ones about, where I actually pair this with the iPad and you don't even need another screen. So obviously, I mean, it's not a surprise. Size and weight, the Mac mini takes it. But where the iMac does hit back, like a nice one-two punch, is the display. The display on this thing, I mean, for the money that you're paying for this computer, phenomenal. Absolutely love what Apple has given us here. Because if you wanted to buy a comparable 4.5 to 5K Retina display with nano texture from Apple, you're looking at about $1,900 for the Apple Studio display. And don't get me wrong, that display is really nice and it is also slightly bigger than this. So I guess it's not Apple's to Apple's direct comparison. This one's 24 inches, that one's 27 inches, but you're pretty much getting like 85% of the same screen here for a fraction of the cost. It's hands down one of the best displays and then I'm so glad to have nano texture now. I got nano texture on my iPad Pro and I can't go back. That thing is phenomenal. So in terms of display, just purely based on what you're getting, I think the point goes to the iMac. But where the Mac Mini now comes back with a nice, you know, double leg takedown is customization. The customization you can actually do with this arguably is going to put the Mac mini up ahead quite a bit. Because look, not everybody needs another, you know, keyboard and mouse and a monitor. Maybe people already have those things at home, right? So you need to actually customize what monitor, what keyboard, what mouse, and all of those things that you use with the Mac mini. Not to mention, let's say you're not a fan of the Apple Magic Keyboard, it's too flat for you. Or you want a mechanical keyboard. Or let's say you don't use the mouse. Like for me, in my case, 
I actually use the MX Master 3S, I think, for Mac. This is the mouse that I use daily. So technically I'm paying for like two mice if I go with the iMac because I'm just gonna put this to the side and probably swap it out with this anyways. And same thing applies to the monitor. Sure, this monitor is fantastic, it's great, but not everybody wants 24 inches. Me personally, like I need at least the 27 inch monitor, which is what I use, the Apple Studio display back there. Or let's say you want an ultra wide monitor, or let's say you want like multiple dual monitors kind of linked together or daisy chained and whatnot the Mac mini is gonna give you a lot more customization from that angle. But that's also, I guess, a double-edged sword because where the Mac mini wins in customization, ease of purchase and ease of use comes to the iMac. And I think they get the point back for that because the average person might just wanna pick up a all-in-one package, something that you can just go purchase from the store and be good to go out of the box. They don't gotta worry about anything else. And I think the Mac mini really does shine there. And which is why I still would say for families, this is the best computer you can buy, even over the Mac mini. Now, another cost to consider here, and also potentially a point for the iMac, is speakers. The speakers on the iMac, guys, like these are, these are fantastic. These speakers have spatial audio. They're basically designed to be pumping sound out to the front. With the Mac mini, you probably have this tucked away somewhere, maybe under the desk or on the side or somewhere far away. The speakers on this are actually not bad. I was actually quite surprised, but it's not ideal. You're meant to basically get speakers with the Mac mini because that's probably gonna be more on your desk and kind of in your face. So that's another cost that you probably have to pay for because I wouldn't rely on the speakers with the Mac mini personally. Point goes to the iMac. Now, at this point of the video, if you're afraid that the iMac is getting ahead in terms of points, I'm sorry to say, one more point for the iMac. The camera, right? The fact that this has a built-in Apple center stage 12 megapixel camera that's actually really good to use, I mean, I think the point goes here because the camera, first of all, is actually fantastic. You can do like so many neat things like with the center stage and the desk view and stuff like that. And on top of that, because it's an Apple camera, it's just well integrated into the software and stuff like that. And you don't, you don't gotta worry about it. Now with the Mac mini, you kind of gotta buy an external webcam or a separate camera or at least a monitor with a camera. Albeit with both of those solutions, you probably won't get all of Apple's suite of like features like center stage and desk view and all of those things. But with this, for sure, you're covered. You have everything you need. So for that reason, point goes to the Mac mini. I mean, iMac. Now the Mac mini is losing in terms of points, but it's still clawing its way up to the top, okay? The Mac mini fights back with the spec difference because the base Mac mini, out of the box, for the money, you're getting a 10 core GPU, 10 core CPU, versus with the iMac, you're getting eight core CPU, eight core GPU. So spec difference wise, you're getting more with the Mac mini base model. And for that, I gotta give it some points. Now the next category is value and pricing. Now this is a juicy one because look, this is quite subjective. It really depends on you and what you have. Let's say you already have a monitor, mouse, keyboard, and all that stuff, then the Mac mini is probably gonna work out cheaper for you because you don't have to upgrade any of those things. You can just use the same stuff and just get the computer. Let's just kind of like roughly compare what you're looking to pay with the Mac mini if you want to spec it out with the same things that you get with the iMac. So first off, monitor. For a decent monitor, you're looking at anywhere between 300 to 500 bucks, okay? Now that may not be as good of a monitor as this because this is a 4.5K retina display, nano texture, all of those cool things. But you could get a decent monitor. So if you wanted all of those things, you're probably paying a lot more for a monitor. But for argument's sake, let's say you're okay with the 400 to $500 monitor with the Mac mini. So there's that. Now next for the peripherals, whatever you pick up, for a decent pair of keyboard and mouse, you're looking to pay anywhere between 150 to 300 bucks. And if you're getting any of the Logitech stuff, like the good stuff, then probably slightly more, or even the Apple stuff, if you were buying separately, you'd be looking at about 350 bucks. And then don't forget the speakers and then maybe the webcam. So when you start adding up all of those things, value-wise, you're probably better off with the iMac. But for this one, I'm gonna give it a draw because it really is subjective in what you already own. Okay, the next category is Van metrics okay let's talk about looks in terms of looks the iMac I gotta give the point to again here Mac mini fans in the comments are like oh I hate you but look the Mac mini just looks fantastic like if you were to put this in your living room or your kitchen or something like that it just looks so nice it adds a little bit of pop of color to your room having a desk set up with this just livens it up a little bit more right and you have so many different colors to choose from so you can like color match different things and kind of just design your space around the iMac the back 
black is a lot more saturated. So with the yellow here, it actually looks kind of gold, whereas the front is a little more pastel -y here. So you do get a nice variation. Mac Mini guys in the comments are gonna be like, yo, but you can get a nice monitor and like, you know, and do the same thing with this, bruv. Most monitors, like just go search monitors on Amazon or anywhere else, majority of them are like black or silver, right? Nobody has like these kind of colors that, you know, that are gonna pop and stuff. So even if you were to pair a nice monitor, the best you can do is RGB lights to liven up a room with the Mac mini. The colors on this, they go hard. So point still goes to the iMac. Okay, so in conclusion, all in all, I gotta say, this one is a very tough one because there's not really many differences in terms of like, you know, specs and like all of those things. And most of the differences come in terms of what you have and what you need, right? So it is very subjective to the actual buyer. So this is how I would put it. I think in my opinion, the iMac is probably the better computer to buy for the average person out there that's just gonna go pick up a computer. They want a one and done out of the box solution. They don't wanna be, you know, buying and looking for all sorts of other things. And they don't have a monitor, a keyboard, mouse and stuff. And even if they do, most people don't have as good of a keyboard and mouse and monitor as, you know, what you're getting with the iMac. So for most people that, this is probably gonna be an upgrade. So. In those cases, I think the iMac is the better buy. The iMac is the way to go for all sorts of family and you know the average non-techie user. Now where the Mac mini comes in is people that firstly have these peripherals or people that really like customizing their setups and the more tech savvy and the more setup inclined consumer where they wanna build out a setup, they wanna have those extra ports, they wanna have the more power, that's more so the buyer of the Mac mini in my opinion. In fact, an argument can be made that the Mac mini in the long term is more economical compared to the iMac because in the long term, if you wanna upgrade your Mac mini, let's say two or three years down the road, you wanna get the new Mac mini that Apple comes out with the, with the M5 and M6 chip, then you don't have to upgrade your monitor, your keyboard, mouse, and all of those extra things. All you gotta do is just change out your computer and you can probably just sell this and get rid of it. And also another thing is, let's say for repairs, let's say, something craps out and you need to fix your computer. With the iMac, you lose everything. You gotta send out your entire monitor, computer, everything. So as you can see, definite pros and cons to both platforms. That kind of dichotomy that I'm showing you guys makes it a little bit easier for you to decide which computer you should buy. So here's how I would finally put it. This is the computer I would buy for my family, my wife, my parents. This is the computer I would buy for myself. That's as plainly as I can put it. In any case, I have a lot of cool videos planned with both of these devices. Make sure you guys are subbed. Some of these ideas are pretty out there. So make sure you guys are subbed, like, comment in the comment section down below if there's anything specific you wanna see me do with any of these computers. I'm gonna pick the wildest comment uh, that I can do personally, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it. And I will see you guys in one of these two videos here. Peace.